All right, today we're going to be solving multi-step equations. This is going to be a two-day um, practice. So today we're going to go over some of them, and then we're going to add on in the next lesson to do some harder problems. So today, the first thing I want you to do is start with this example. And this one's going to be on your own. Um, and this should be review from the two-step equations. So I want you to write this problem down, 3x plus 7 equals 16. Pause the video and solve it now. All right, so that should have been a nice little refresher. So what did we do to solve? We do our dotted line straight down from the equal sign, and we need to get the um, x alone, isolate the x. So to do that, I'm going to do the opposite operation. I'm going to, if I have a plus 7, I'm going to subtract 7. Anything I do to one side, we have to do to the other. 7 minus 7, that cancels. Bring down your 3x, your equal sign, and then 16 minus 7, would be 9. My next step, we have 3 times x. The opposite of multiplication would be division. So we're going to divide each side by 3, and x comes out to be 3. So there's our little refresher. What we're doing today is we're adding on to that. So we might be combining like terms. We might be moving more steps. Uh, it just depends on the problem. So the first one that I want to do with you is 3x plus 8 plus 2x equals 33, okay? So for this one, the first thing that I always look for is when I do my dotted line down from the equal sign, I see if I can combine any like terms. So I'm going to look over here on the left, and is anything alike? Yeah, I have a 3x here and a 2x here, okay? They have the same power, the same variable, so I can put those together. So 3x plus 2x is 5x plus 8. If I look on the other side, I just have a 33, so I'm just going to bring it down. Now the problem looks like we, what we have been doing. It's a two-step problem from here. So I have 5x plus 8. How do I get rid of that plus 8? I'm going to take the opposite sign, so I'm going to subtract 8 from each side. That cancels my 8, leaves me with 5x, bringing down your equal sign, and then 33 minus 8 is 25. Okay, next step, we have 5 times x. The opposite of times would be division. So we're going to divide each side by 5. Cancels that 5, and x equals 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay, let's try another one. So the second one we're going to do is x plus 9 plus 5 plus 7x equals 38, okay? So again, do your dotted line straight down from the equal sign, and then we're going to combine our like terms, if we have any. So I'm going to look over here on the left first. I have an x and a 7x. Those go together. x plus 7x would be 8x. And then I can put together my numbers. I have a 9 plus 5, which would be plus 14. Bring down your equal sign and your 38. And now we're back to solving our normal, what we have been doing. So I have 8x is what I want to get alone. I have 8x plus 14. The opposite of plus 14 would be minus 14. Anything I do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay, so my 14s cancel right here. I'm going to bring down my 8x, my equal sign. 38 minus 14 would be 24. I'm going to divide by 8, divide by 8, and x comes out to be 3. Okay, so those are ones where we have to combine like terms. Sometimes those like terms are going to be on both sides. Sometimes they're only on one side. So I want you guys to write down this next question, and this is going to be the example that you do on your own. So this is example 2 for you to do. We have 9 plus 3 plus 6x plus 4x equals 52. Go ahead and pause and solve that one. All right, now let's do some where we have um, variables on both sides. So the next, what number am I on? 3. The next example that I'm going to do with you is 2 plus 2n equals n minus 2 plus 1. So same first step, we're going to do our dotted line straight down from the equal sign. 
I'm gonna check each side and make sure there's nothing I can combine. So over here I have a two plus two in. Neither one of those is alike, so I'm gonna bring them down. On the other side, I have an n, no other n, so I'm gonna bring him down, but I do have a negative two and a plus one. Negative two plus one would be a negative one. Okay, so now I have two plus two n equals n minus one. I try to keep my letter, my variable positive, so I'm gonna move the smaller one, but you do not have to do it this way. You can move the two n. So I'm gonna move the smaller one. This is a positive n, so I'm gonna subtract n to move it to the other side. That gets rid of this n. Leaves me with two plus two minus one would be one n equals negative one. Now I have all my n's on the left, so what else do I need to get rid of over here? I have a positive two over here. To move that two to the other side, we're gonna take the opposite sign. So I'm gonna subtract two from each side. So that gets rid of this two. I'm gonna bring down my n, my equal sign, and negative one minus two is negative three. Be very careful, and if you're bad with negatives, feel free to use a calculator. Let's do another one like that together. So let's do n minus two equals one plus four n minus six. So dotted line down from the equal sign. And then we're gonna start combining our like terms if we have any. N minus two, nothing's alike, that's good. On the other side, I have a one and a negative six that can go together. So in that one, I'm gonna bring down my four in. One minus six would be a minus five. I'm gonna bring down my N minus two on the other side. Now I wanna get my ends together. So if I want to get my ends together, I'm going to move my smaller one trying to keep the ends positive. It doesn't have to work out that way. You can kind of move whatever you want at this point. So I'm going to subtract. Since this is a positive end, I'm going to subtract n from both sides. So these ends are gone. I bring down my negative 2. Then I have 4n minus n. So 4 minus 1 is 3n. Bring down my negative 5. Now I need to get that in isolated or by itself. So I have a minus five over here. The opposite of minus would be plus five. So I'm gonna move him to the other side. So he's gone. Bring down my three in. Negative two plus five would be three. And then I have three times in. Opposite of times would be dividing. Anything I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm left with n equals one. Now remember, you can always plug one back in for each of the ends and simplify it down, and you should get the same number on both sides of the equal sign, okay? Since those are a little bit more in depth, let's do one more together, and then I'll have you practice one on your own. Okay, so number uh, five. Number five. We have negative four. Minus V minus two equals V plus Two. Okay, so dotted lines straight down from the equal sign. Check for combining like terms. We have a negative four and a negative two over here. The other side doesn't have anything that's alike. So I'm gonna bring down my negative V. Negative four and negative two. Negative four plus negative two would be negative six. Bring down your equal sign. Bring down your V plus two. Okay, now we need to move something. I'm gonna move the smaller V, which would be the negative one. You could move the other one, it's up to you. So I have a negative V over here. The opposite of negative would be plus, so I'm gonna uh, add a V. Anything I do to one side, we have to do to the other. So these V's are gone. I'm gonna bring down my negative six. V plus V would be two V plus two. Now we're solving, just like we did last class. So we have two V plus two. I need to get this 2v alone. If I have a plus two, I'm gonna take the opposite sign and subtract two from each side. Anything I do to one side, have to do to the other. So this guy's gone. Negative six minus two is negative eight equals 2v. I have two times v. Remember when they're sitting next to each other, they're multiplying. So two times v, the opposite would be dividing. Anything I do to one side, have to do to the other. Twos are gone. Negative eight divided by two would be negative four. And there's your answer. 
So now I want you guys to write down this next one and I want you to try it on your own. So this would be your example three. So we have n plus five equals negative n plus n. Go ahead and pause and solve that one. Okay, this is the end of day one, so now you can do your practice.